You must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our Holy Bible. And we do remember and we are fighting our brave troops and combatants who are now in Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu recently referred to the Amalek narrative while discussing the conflict between Gaza and Israel. The narrative has been employed to justify military actions against Gaza amid the ongoing hostilities, which have led to over 1,400 Israeli deaths and nearly 8,000 deaths in Gaza. He stated, you must remember what Amalek has done to you, as per our Holy Bible. The public's response to the Israeli Prime Minister's remarks concerning the Amalek narrative and the Gaza fatalities was predominantly negative. Now we'll delve into the historical backdrop of the Amalekites and God's directive to now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spare them not, but slay both man and woman infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. In the vast tapestry of ancient civilizations and peoples mentioned in the Bible, the Amalekites hold a unique and often contentious position. As a biblical group, their interactions with the Israelites, as narrated in the Holy Scriptures, form a significant part of their depiction and the broader narrative of the ancient Near East. Our exploration of the Amalekites aims to foster a nuanced understanding of this biblical group, their historical context and their portrayal in religious texts. The narrative of the Amalekites is intertwined with themes of conflict, divine command, and the moral questions that arise from these elements. In today's world, where the interplay of history and belief continue to shape societal dynamics, revisiting biblical narratives such as that of the Amalekites offers an opportunity for reflection and discussion. The narrative of the Amalekites finds its roots in the ancient Near East, a region known for its historical significance and the cradle of several ancient civilizations dating back to around the second millennium BC. The historical context of the Amalekites is largely intertwined with their interactions with the Israelites as recorded in the Bible. However, the exact historical and geographical details of the Amalekites remain a subject of scholarly debate. The Bible portrays the Amalekites as a nomadic group, with their realm extending across parts of modern-day southern Israel, Jordan and the Sinai Peninsula. The Bible suggests that the Amalekites were descendants of Amalek, who was a grandson of Esau, the elder son of Isaac. But some Islamic historians consider Amalek to be one of the most ancient of the Arab tribes, their interactions with the Israelites commenced soon after the latter's exodus from Egypt in 1300-1200 BC, marking the beginning of a prolonged conflict that is documented in various books of the Old Testament. One of the earliest encounters between the Amalekites and the Israelites occurred at Rephidim, a place mentioned in the Hebrew Bible but its exact location remains uncertain. This skirmish set the stage for the enmity that would characterize relations between the two groups for generations. The Amalekites, as depicted in the biblical narrative, often opposed the Israelites during their journey through the wilderness, symbolizing a significant challenge to their quest for the promised land the area stretching from the river of Egypt to the Euphrates. The biblical narrative is a rich source of references to the Amalekites, with various books of the Old Testament shedding light on their interactions with the Israelites. 
Here, we look into key passages that paint a picture of the Amalekites, illuminating their enmity with the Israelites and the divine commands associated with them. In one of the earliest mentions, the Amalekites are depicted as aggressors attacking the Israelites at Rephidim. The battle is narrated in Exodus, with Moses holding up his staff as a symbol of divine intervention leading to Israelite victory. The passage states, Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And in Deuteronomy, there's a divine mandate to remember the enmity of Amalek and to blot out their memory. The passage underscores the animosity between the two groups with a call for remembrance and action. Remember what Amalek did to you on the way as you came out of Egypt, how he attacked you on the way when you were faint and weary and cut off your tail, those who were lagging behind you and he did not fear God. The narrative in Samuel recounts a divine command to King Saul to utterly destroy the Amalekites as a form of divine judgment. However, Saul's failure to fully execute this command is seen as disobedience, leading to his rejection as king. The passage elaborates, Now go and smite Amalek, and utterly destroy all that they have, and spare them not but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. These biblical passages offer a glimpse into the long-standing conflict between the Amalekites and the Israelites, as well as the divine injunctions surrounding the Amalekites. The portrayal of the Amalekites in these passages is deeply intertwined with themes of divine justice, obedience, and the moral and ethical dilemmas that arise from these interactions. The narrative of the Amalekites within the biblical text serves as a window into the broader theological and ethical discourse surrounding divine commands, warfare, and the journey of the Israelites towards their promised land. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's drawing parallels between Gazans or Hamas, a militant group recognized as a terrorist organization by Israel and several other countries, and the biblical Amalekites, has indeed ignited discussions in various religious, political and social circles. This comparison has opened up dialogues on numerous themes, from the ethical aspects of utilizing biblical narratives in contemporary political discourse to the historical and theological basis of such analogies and the expansive socio-political dynamics enveloping the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Please feel free to share your thoughts and engage with the community here. And if you find discussions like these enlightening, do hit the subscribe button to stay updated with more content like this. Your subscription greatly supports the channel and enables us to continue providing insightful discussions on such important topics.